the key areas that I've broken it down for uh, AFLW athletes would be um, focus on uh, whether it be a fitness test or not, improving your ability to um, work at 80%, 80 to 90% of your speed um, because we want to make sure that we're, um, you're able to repeat those high intensity efforts consistently over the four quarters. So efforts like uh, having at least once a week where you go 40, 40 meters, 50, 60, 70, and probably no longer than 80 meter efforts. So if you're doing time base anywhere between 10 to 20 second efforts, so it's short in duration, but the intensity is high and therefore the rest period to in, allow that intensity is anywhere between one to two, anywhere to one to, to four, or even one to five, uh, if you need it. Uh, this will improve the, the how well you're moving. Um, so your running economy will, should be efficient, uh, which is going to enhance and pay dividends for later on. Then in terms of your, your aerobic capacity day, so these are more your longer efforts. Work ratio, rest ratio should be anywhere around one to one or um uh, let's say if you say so one to one, so 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, or one to half, so like 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off typically. Um, and then you want to try and increase your duration over the, the coming weeks. Um, so by that, you might build up towards a 90 second effort with a 45 second rest in between. Um, typically have a target in place for how far you want to travel um, with that in terms of your distance. So make sure that you're not just running um, aimlessly, but you've actually got a set target. And that might be from your uh, a benchmark test, like in our program, we'll do either a 1200 meter or a 2K fitness test. And we work out the average speed that athlete's moving at. So let's say it's just for an easy number, five meters per second. We can, just like your bench press, where you, 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 if you can bench 100 kilos, you do percentages off that. So you might do five sets of five bench press at 80 kilos for someone. And that's 80% of, of their 100 kilo bench. We can do the exact same um, in terms of individualized targets with the running capacity. In terms of the gym, I'd be really attacking the contested side of the game. So for me, that would be um, working on your ground balls, making sure you're not hinging and losing that abdominal tightness by hinging at the spine, but you're actually hinging at the hips for your ground ball. So strengthening you in things like uh, RDLs, trap bar deadlifts, really strengthening that posterior chain, not only to help for ground ball ability, but that's going to help with um, you be able to keep your feet. Um, they're, they're incredibly strong muscle groups around the hips. So we want to make sure that we're really targeting that over the off season. So look at the exercises in our lower body strength playlist on our YouTube channel for a good reference of some of the drills that I talked about and, and how to perform a successful rep in terms of technique. I'd also be throwing in, in the gym, some jumping work, really working on your ankle stiffness. So plyometrics, uh, and making sure that we're getting some drills in there where you're focusing on um, weight through the front of the foot. So in those that loaded acceleration position, whether it be on a sled or, or against the wall, um, and you're focusing on pushing down and, and putting, that, putting that force straight into the ground behind you to help with um, projecting your hips and shoulders out in front. From an upper body point of view, making sure we're getting some good shoulder work in to help with your fend off and your stiff arm so you can hold opponents away from you and create space on the field so things like heavy bench press single arm dumbbell bench press straight arm exercises like some um, core work where you're holding um, the rings and locking out your elbows and doing some knee raises or some um, plank walks on your hand with uh, your feet on a slider so you're working on that stiff arm strength um, so really making sure and, and a good reference to look to is our upper body playlist on our YouTube to improve not only your bent arm strength so you can push opponents away when they're riding close, but also your stiff arm strength so you can hold people away with your opposite arm as you fend them off and run in the other direction. So strain arm strength and bent arm strength is critical. And then thirdly, in the gym, we want to work on your trunk, your ability to brace and have that tension through the trunk, whether you be changing direction, so there's no slack through the body, your body's all moving as one with your agility work, also with your jumping and landing work where there's pre-tension um, throughout the body. So you're not going to be sloppy when you land. Uh, and of course, with our acceleration, deceleration work. So making sure that you're really strong through your trunk and you're bracing with your heavy lifting, your strength training in the gym, but also with your plyometrics like throwing, might throw a meta, medicine ball at you 
you catch it, throw it as fast as you can, and then you jump. So you're getting that pre-tension bracing before you're doing your plyometric power work um, like you would need to do on the footy field because most of the time when, you, when you've, you're in possession of the ball or you're trying to win the possession, you're, you're usually in, in the contest, so you're bracing. So we want to make sure we're continually stimulating the trunk and strengthening your core to be able to handle uh, that contested side of the game. So hopefully that helps AFLW athletes 